due to we are um, attempting a, a real-time performance. And what we mean by that is that the music drives the visuals. And you saw up here that high frequency pitch that was um, kind of piercing. That directly affects the, the visuals that was happening here. This program that we use called Max MSP Jitter, it's all about numbers. So if um, we have a great understanding about numbers and using numbers to manipulate visuals and sounds. So, and, uh, Turn it over to Jim right here. He's going to actually um, do, a, do a short demonstration of how uh, we have mapped the sounds to the visuals. Yeah. So let me explain our method because we really believe it's going to be a, make a different visuals. So this is a, a, what we set, and this is an environment and a set of rules which control the. Um, um, analyzing music and applying it to a uh, motion of um, graphic elements. So this is designed to um, perform, uh, do a performance uh, and manipulating the visuals in you know, real time. which means like how high a pitch sounds or how low pitch sounds and also amplitude how loud the sound is versus how quiet the sound is so we played with this um, the ideas of like music and sound how we can create so much variety and we mapped it to visuals and this is what you're looking at here so any questions or comments music elements will generate which graphic elements. So we did uh, several, we, we made several modules and tested it and see how's it going. And this is one of them. So yeah, and you know, these, these rules have to be uh, something like, it should make um, exact synchronizing and exact reacting to um, music and it also had to be a um, kind of spatial movement because it mostly represents the music itself. <laughs> 